I know that this is a totally random way to start the video, but I guess like August 1st was National Spider-Man Day, and I feel ashamed as a big Spider-Man fanboy that I did not know that. So I'm going to dedicate the rest of August, the rest of this month, to watching my favorite Spider-Man movies and TV series episodes because... I love Spider-Man. Hey there, guys. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. That is right, guys. Before we get started, make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it, and let's talk about it. So let's start this video off, guys, by congratulating Ish Wainwright, who is coming back to the Phoenix Suns on another two-way deal. And in my opinion, you guys... Ish Wainwright totally deserves it. This is a guy who has had a pretty incredible journey to the NBA. I've made a couple of videos about it on this channel. Make sure to go check those out. But the dude just works hard. He had a pretty good outing in NBA Summer League this year with the Phoenix Suns. But it's also the fact that he wants to be with the Phoenix Suns. He talked about it not too long ago during NBA Summer League. And really, like all of last season, he said, I want to play for the Phoenix Suns. I want to be here. He's really great with the fans. He works his ass off in practice. He's had a few good games throughout the regular season and stuff, like last season and all that. So I'm really proud of Ish Wainwright. Continues to... My dog's just walking into my room. <laughs> oh my god. Everything's failing. <laughs> this is my dog, Spunky. A lot of you guys probably know him from my social media. Okay, my shirt is probably super dirty now because my dog just started freaking out. Ugh. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's continue the video here, you guys. So just so you know, according to league rules, it allows players to be on a two-way contract with the same team only twice. So if Ish Wainwright were to return to Phoenix the following season, it would have to be on a standard deal. And you guys, if Ish Wainwright continues to improve and continues to show that promise, which we have already seen like throughout the regular season and in summer league and stuff, I don't think Ish Wainwright being on a standard deal is really like a surprise to anybody. I mean, the guy has worked his ass off to be in the NBA. And again, if he continues to improve, then I am all for bringing on Ish Wainwright onto a standard deal. Now, you guys, speaking of two-way contracts and stuff, the Phoenix Suns have agreed on a two-way contract with Dwayne Washington Jr. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't really know much about him, but he is a six foot three scoring guard. He's only 22 years old. He averaged nearly 10 points per game in just 20 minutes per game last season for the Pacers in 48 games. He shot 40.5% from the field and 37.7% from three last season. Now, he did go undrafted. In the 2021 NBA draft, but he can score. He's got a nice floater game. He can attack the basket. And then random fact here, Derek Fisher is his uncle, which I always like Derek Fisher, so that's pretty cool. Now, I know that there's some of you who do not want the Phoenix Suns to trade for Kevin Durant, and I know this is probably not the Kevin Durant news that most of you guys wanted to hear but Kevin Durant apparently is going to meet with the Brooklyn Nets owner, I think, later this week or something. I don't really have too many thoughts on this, you guys. I mean, I think it's fair to the Brooklyn Nets. And who knows what that meeting is going to be like. I wish it could be a flight on the wall during that meeting. But I think it's just a fair thing to do. I mean, maybe they will come to terms or something like that. Or maybe Kevin Durant will be like, get me out of here, man. I am done. I want to go to Phoenix and all that. I don't know. I just think that meeting with the Brooklyn Nets owner is probably fair. If I remember correctly, I don't really think they've had much communication since the Brooklyn Nets got eliminated, like in the first round or whatever. So, again, I think it's fair. I do want to know your guys' thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And with that being said, you guys, make sure to Hulk smash that like button. And please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for all the crazy bloopers with my dog and everything. <laughs>